What the hell are those little black things flying around everywhere? Whatever those damn things are, they bite and they're everywhere this summer. Anyway, finally got my hands on one of these little six inch coils for the uh, MyLab Equinox. Now these are tough to find anywhere right now. You have to get on a waiting list at pretty much any dealer. Uh, but luckily, thanks to my buddy M.T. Cooley over at the Friendly Metal Detecting Forums, I got my hands on one. But uh, before I swap out, I thought I'd do a few tests just to get a kind of a comparison between the six inch coil and the 11 inch coil. On test number one here, I have a barber dime surrounded by nails. And the idea here is we're gonna scan it and then move the nails in a little bit at a time until I can no longer pick it up with the 11 inch coil. Then we'll see if we can, you know, we'll see if we can get it with the six inch coil. The next test will be a separation test. I've got a nail elevated about an inch and a half up above a mercury dime. Same thing, we'll move it in a little bit at a time until we can no longer get a good signal with the 11 inch coil, then we'll try it with a six inch coil. Finally, the last test will be a, a target ID test. What we want to see here is how it averages out targets. I've got a nail, a barber quarter, and a beaver tail off of a pull tab. So we want to get a look at the ID with both coils and see if there's any difference there. All right, stand by and we'll get started. Okay, really quickly, we'll go over the settings. I'm set up in part two. I've got the sensitivity set at 20. Ground balance is set at zero. I've already done a noise cancel. Uh, iron bias is set at one, and recovery speed is set at seven. Okay. First target. Okay, it's picking them up pretty good right there. Let's move them in a little bit. Still picking them up. Let's move it in a little more. Okay, at this point it's no longer giving a, a diggable signal with the 11 inch coil. So we'll leave that just like it is and move on over to uh, test number two. This is the nail elevated about an inch and a half up above a uh, mercury dime. Okay, it gets it right there. Let's move it in a little bit. Oops, nail fell off. If I just barely wiggle the coil over it, it'll still get it. Move it in a little more. Yeah, I think that could be falsing off the nail a little bit right there. It is. So. With a dime right there. Not giving much of a signal. So we'll leave that one like it is and we'll see if the six inch coil does any better. Okay, test number three, the target ID test. Target ID is bouncing between 13 and 17. Lowest is 13, highest is 17. Okay, stand by guys, I'll swap out the coils and we'll see how it does with a six inch. Okay, I got the six inch coil mounted on there and man, is that thing small, look at that. Lightweight too, it changes the whole feel of the detector. Anyway, on the first test, if you remember, the uh, with the way it's positioned now, the 11 inch coil would no longer pick up the Barber Dime. So let's see how the six inch coil does. No problem, that's kind of what I expected. On the second test, we've got a nail elevated about an inch and a half above a mercury dime, 
And with the way it's situated now, the uh, 11 inch coil would no longer pick up the dime, even though it was falsing on the nail just a little bit. So here we go with a six inch coil. Wow. So that one's a draw, neither coil will pick it up. Okay, on to the next, on to the next test. This one was a test of target ID. We wanted to see how the two coils averaged uh, a high conductor, a medium conductor, and a low conductor. We've got a nail, a beaver, a beaver tail off of a pull tab, and a barber quarter. On the 11 inch coil, it was reading between 13 and 17. It never got above a 17. So let's see how this one does. Oh yeah. That's a nice advantage for the smaller coil. I've seen it hit as high as 28. You know, that could be the difference between digging and not digging when you're coin shooting, you know, just seeing that higher ID and hearing the higher tone. So nice advantage for the small coil there. This one was a draw and this one was advantage for the six inch coil. All right, stand by guys. We'll do a few air tests and wrap it up. Okay, we'll do a really quick air test just to get an idea of the differences in depth on the two coils. Uh, here I've got a Buffalo Nickel, a Barber Dime, a Barber Quarter, a Barber Half, and a Morgan Dollar. The detector is set up in Park 2. Sensitivity is set at 23. Iron Bias is set at 0, and Recovery Speed is set at 3. All right. Start out with the Buffalo Nickel. About 13 inches. Next up is the Barber Dime. About 12 and a half inches. Next up is the Barber Quarter. Around 14 inches. Barber Half. About 15 and a half inches. And the Morgan Dollar. Sixteen and a half, seventeen inches. Alright, stand by guys and I'll I'll swap out to the six inch coil and we'll try it again. Alright, so here we go with the six inch coil, same target, same settings. I could probably get away with a little bit higher on the sensitivity with a smaller coil, but just for the sake of the test, we'll leave it the same. We'll start out with a buffalo nickel. Around 10 and a half inches. Pretty good. Next up is the barber dime. Again, right around 10 and a half inches. Next up is the Barber Quarter. Right around the foot, the Barber Half. Maybe 13 inches. And finally, the Morgan Dollar. It starts to disappear around 14 inches. So that's pretty impressive to me on such a small coil. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.